Hello everyone! Uh, today is a very exciting day. I am starting my long-awaited plan for walking around the coast of Kent. Uh, we're at Greenhive right now in a car park near Greenhive Station. This is actually where we're going to end our walk. Uh, so we're going to catch the train to Dartford, which is the beginning of our walk, and walk back to Greenhive because that was easier than parking in Dartford. I have a uh, Ordnance Survey map, uh, Greenwich and Gravesend. I'm also joined by my mum on this first walk because she says she wants to come with me. Uh, so that's that's nice. She's going to be cameraman for various parts of, or camerawoman for various parts of the uh, the vlog. I'd say let's get going. Here's Greenhive for Bluewater Station. We're going to be catching the train from here to Dartford, where we start our walk. Right, so as mentioned in uh, the intro clip just there, I'm using Ordnance Survey Map number 162, and our walk takes us from Dartford down here, there's Dartford Station, all the way along the River Darrant, which is actually the border between Kent and Greater London, which is quite interesting, up to the Thames, where the River Darrant joins the Thames, then we follow the Thames all the way down under the Dartford Crossing Bridge, and eventually make it to back to Greenhive again. That's the first walk on the, the Kent Coastal Walk. I would just like to put in a quick apology for any loud wind in this video. This is the first time I'm using a new camera that I've got, and I wasn't too sure how to properly use it yet, but I shall have that fixed for the future episodes. Let's get straight into this. I hope you enjoy. We have now arrived at Dartford Station. It actually looks really nice. Look at like the transition from the uh, the reddish copper color to the to the greeny color over there. We're just gonna have a quick check at Dartford High Street and then we start our walk. Here's a map of Dartford. We are here and we're just going to the high street here. And after that, we'll head up the River Darrant, all the way to the Thames. So here we are at the start of the official, uh, well, this is what I call the official start of the path, really, now that we're going to be on footpaths the whole time, from here on out. Uh, this first part is a part of the Darrant Valley Path, which is interesting. If I zoom out, there's, um, there's an abandoned house here. I, I thought that's quite interesting. Uh, this, the start of the path is, um, quite derelict. But that's okay. The River Darrant is a tributary of the River Thames. Uh, and from Dartford we need to follow the River uh, Darrant about four miles up that way, where we join the River Thames, and that's sort of the start of the round roots of the Kent Peninsula. But of course we have to follow the River Darrant to get there, so let's get going. Our first sight of the River Darrant! Oh my gosh, this is so exciting! It's very, uh, low. <laughs> it's quite muddy on the sides, so that's interesting. Down that way leads towards the Thames. We're just passing some London buses here. Uh, I guess because we're so close to London, uh, they just sit here sometimes. I thought that was quite interesting. There's the uh, the London bus symbol right there on the uh, the side of that bus. This first part of the uh, the walk, the River Darrant, seems to be very industrial, which I was expecting. Uh, you can see behind me, you can hear the noise behind me of someone doing some sort of industry work. There's the River Darrant down there, and over this side. Uh, once we should slowly be getting more and more into the countryside, and that's the part I'm looking forward to, is the Dartford Marshes, which is as soon as we leave the main built-up area of Dartford. We just walked down this little footpath area from 
the main path up there. Uh, nice little view of the river. <laughs> Left the main built up area of Dartford. You can see the houses behind me there. And up ahead of me, if you can hear me over the wind, is the, uh, the Dartford Marshes. If you can see, is our first view of the Dartford Crossing. Uh, so we'll be going right underneath that a bit later. We have reached our first kissing gate. Uh, so you can see, this says the Darrant Valley Path. Here's the kissing gate. Let's go through. Oh, it's got this thing, which I have to lift up. There we go. We have to put it back down again. There we go. So now it really feels like we've just entered the countryside. And everything in front of me is pretty much, except for a big busy road, which we have to cross, it's pretty much just uh, marshland all the way there. We've got to go underneath this road here, through this gate, with a huge rusty barrel, which is interesting. <laughs> and this is our last road. The, from here on after this road it'll be a countryside all the way. Of course they stop when I film. There we go. That's the cars, those big bangs going over this bridge. quite scary. The beginning of the expanse of the North Kent marshes. A lot of this part of Kent, this extreme north-western corner of Kent, is very barren, marshlands, and a lot of um, stuff, buildings in decay, sort of. As we have found right here, we found some old buildings right behind me. I don't know what they were used for, but I thought that was quite fascinating. There's another one behind me there. It's always interesting to discover these things just out in the countryside. Let's have a look inside. This is a very windy doorway. Uh, it's just completely filled with trees. Got some walkers over there. Right here, you can actually see the River Cray joining the River Darrant. So and the reason that's uh, quite important or interesting is the River Cray up until here is the border between Kent and London, Greater London. So from here on out, the River Darrant will be the border between Kent and Greater London, which is just there. We've been walking along this uh, super wriggly path for quite some time now, uh, and we're slowly getting closer to the, uh, the River Darrant tidal gate, which is right on the Thames. So in the 
background you can hear the shooting range, which is just on the marsh back here. We've reached the Darren River tidal thing! Tidal, tidal gauge! Uh, clearly the, uh, the tidal gauge gate isn't uh, down at the moment, so all the water that's here at the moment is the same level as the Thames, just up ahead. We've gone all the way along the River Darrant, and we're now here. We've just got along the Thames, under the Dartford Bridge, to Greenhive to go. If I pan up, you can see we've got the Thames right there. That's so exciting. That's Dartford all the way over there! And there's the, uh, the River Darrant barrier. And just over here... ...is the Thames! Oh my gosh! I can't believe it! We've got just down there to go, to Greenhive. I'm just gonna check out this sign here though first. The Dartford Creek Barrier. It's an information board. So, we've got the River Thames right behind me there, which is also where the Darrant reaches the River Thames. Across the other side, let's see, uh, all that land on the other side there? That's Essex, which is a different county. And just over there, we've got Greater London. So, this is actually a tri-point between the counties of Greater London, Essex, and Kent, which I think is pretty awesome, really. <laughs> We're gonna have to wave goodbye to the, uh, the Dartford Creek barrier. Time to continue on with the walk. Some houses there on the Essex side. The gunfire in the background is very loud, so <laughs> if you're startled by that, this might not be the walk for you. Um, we're quite close to the shooting range now. Hopefully that will quiet uh, get, get a bit quieter. The closer to the, uh, the Dartford Bridge we get. We have come across the first beach on the walk. Right here. There's a pebble beach right along the River Thames. <laughs> we thought that was quite interesting. We are now very close to the Dartford Bridge. We're right next to this huge chimney. Which, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I believe there were protests here not that long ago about uh, climate change or something. And they put up a big fence recently. Um, but over here's the Thames. And we just walked a particularly not so nice part of the path, which was next to the sewage works. I'm kind of sad about that. And of course this part of Kent is very, uh, what's the word, um, industrial, compared to later parts of the Kent coast, which uh, I believe, well I know for a fact, are much more uh, beaches and countryside. I'm not saying that I dislike this part, I do dislike the sewage works, but I find beauty in marshland, I find beauty in abandoned buildings, 
which I think a lot of people miss out. They they just see a band building and they think, oh, why is that there? It's not nice. But but I, I kind of I like that sort of stuff, and uh, I find it quite fascinating. So even though this is a very industrial area and marshy area, I still enjoy walking here. Besides the sewage works, the sewage works did make me sad. Uh, this big chimney. I, I mean, that makes me sad because it's polluting the atmosphere. But uh, I find beauty in places where other people don't. We are now right underneath the Dartford Bridge, practically. It's right there behind me. This is crazy how far we've come, all the way from Dartford, along the River Darrant, and now along the Thames, and we're right by the Dartford Bridge. I think this is, this is so fun, just experiencing this, and I'm so excited for the other 34 walks I've got to do this year for my big Kent Coast Challenge. I feel like this is going to be really good for me to discover all these areas and experience the outdoors. How amazing this is. This, this bridge, it's been amazing just walking under it. It's fantastic. Really, really exciting. I keep saying this, but I cannot believe that bridge. And over here, if I zoom in, this uh, power cable thing, uh, tower. We'll be walking past that in the second uh, walk that I do on the Kent Coast because we're nearly at the end of today's walk. Uh, but I believe that's one of the tallest in the UK or something, but I haven't done the research fully for that yet, so you'll find out next time. There's a little jetty here, and Green Heath? Hive? Hive? Green Hive? <laughs> is just up ahead. Bye bye Dartford Bridge probably, I don't know if I'll see you again. We're just going underneath that jetty that I pointed out a minute ago. And interestingly enough, the ground is now paved, the first part since we left Dartford. I am quite tired now. <laughs> but hopefully over the course of uh, doing this walk, I shall become more used to walking, and it'll become easier and easier as time goes by. I just caught some cormorants on camera. That's pretty cool, they're quite far away. Here we have the path turning off away from the coast. Or away from the, the Thames. We're heading back to the car now. Goodbye, Dartford Bridge. Goodbye, coast. We've made it to the main road. I'm just going through a, a kissing gate.
here we are, back in Green Hive. I've completed the first stretch of the walk. It feels amazing. <laughs> I'll catch you when we get back to the car park we parked in and I'll do a little outro for this first part of the uh, of the walk. We did it! We made it back to the car park! We did the first walk from Dartford to Greenhive! I feel so accomplished! I am so tired! But it's amazing! That was a great start to the Kent Coast walk! I can't wait to do more! My years goal has begun! We will do this! Yay! I can't wait! Okay, thank you for watching part 1 Dartford to Greenhive. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know. Um, I look forward to the next one. Goodbye everyone!